हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट टूल एंड वर्क होल्डिंग डिवाइसेस एंड डिफरेंट अलाइनमेंट टेस्ट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ड्रिलिंग मशीन्स सो लेट अस फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद डिफरेंट टूल होल्डिंग डिवाइसेस सो इन ड्रिलिंग मशीन मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज्ड टूल होल्डिंग डिवाइसेस आर ड्रिल चक ड्रिल स्लीव्स एंड ड्रिल सॉकेट्स so first start with the drill chucks and the, some of the drill chucks are shown in the figure as one can see most common devices used for holding straight and sink cutting tools and most contain three jaws that move simultaneously when outer sleeve turned and there are different types of drill chucks are also available that may be a key type and key less now as one can see from the first two figure this is the figure 1 and this is the figure 2 and this figure 1 consist of the taper whereas this figure 2 consist of the threads which can be seen over here so there is also variation in different tool holding devices similarly the third figure shown over here it is the most commonly used and as one can see it is key type drill chuck and in this drill chuck three jaws move simultaneously when outer sleeve is turned so these are the different variations of drill chucks available now another one that is the drill sleeve and it is used to adapt cutting tool shank to machine spindle if taper on tool is smaller than tapered hole in the spindle i am repeating this word again this type of drill sleeves are useful when the taper on tool is smaller than the tapered hole in the spindle now the third one that is drill sockets and these drill sockets are useful when hole in spindle of the drill press too small for taper shank of drill i am further repeating this again it is used that means drill sockets are used when hole in the spindle of drill press is too small for taper shank of the drill and it is also used as extension sockets so these are the different tool holding devices which are used in many of the lathe machines similarly there are also different work holding devices are available which are helpful to hold the different shape of work piece so some of them are t bolt and clamp drill press wise step block and drill jigs so these are the different work holding devices now let us start discussion about different alignment test so starting with first alignment test on drilling machine let us discuss about the alignment test that are used in lathe machine as we have discussed in our chapter 2 in the topic of alignment test of lathe machine this test are required to check the parallelism perpendicularity of the different parts compared to each other and there are different devices are used to check the maybe parallelism or maybe perpendicularity or maybe rotation of the component so similarly in this drilling machine also similar methods are used to to perform alignment test on this drilling machine so the first alignment test that is to check the flatness of machine table and base as we have also discussed in lathe machine similarly to check the flatness of machine table and base filler gauge is used and how this test can be performed let us discuss so 
The test is performed by placing a straight edge on two gauge blocks on the base plate in various position and the error is noted down by inserting the filler gauge. So this can be seen over here. And the error measure that should not exceed 0.1 per 1000 mm. So this is the basic reading that is required to check the alignment test. And similarly if this method is repeated again on the table then flatness of the table can also be measured. So this is the first method in which the filler gates are used to check the flatness of machine table and machine base. Now next alignment test is to check true running of spindle taper. And for this test the test mandrel is placed in the tapered hole of spindle and dial indicator is fixed on the table which can be seen from the figure. The spindle is rotated slowly and reading of indicators are noted down. As the spindle rotates, the reading on this indicator is noted down and as per the standard readings, the error should not exceed 0.3 per 100 mm. And if there is error more than this, then there must need to be do certain operations to overcome this problem. So this is the second method of the alignment test and it is used to check the true running of spindle taper. Now next alignment test is to check perpendicularity of spindle axis with table. And this third figure shows the test setup for perpendicularity of spindle axis with the table. In this test, the straight edge is placed in a position xx dash and yy dash as indicated over here. The dial gauge is fitted in this spindle which can be seen from here and its plunger is pressed against this straight edge and the first reading is noted down at the position x which is shown over here. So further I am repeating this as this dial indicator is fitted in this spindle. This dial indicator is pressed down at this position x and the reading is taken. Now then this spindle is rotated by 180 degree and another reading is taken at the position x dash. And the difference between these two readings gives the error in perpendicularity. And this similar process is repeated for yy dash. And in normal cases the permissible error is up to 0.05 to 0.08 mm. So this method is to check the perpendicularity of spindle axis with table. So in this lecture we have discussed only three alignment tests which are mostly useful for drilling machine but there are also many different number of alignment tests are required to check the different parameters. So up to now we have discussed about different tool holding and work holding devices and certain alignment tests required for drilling machine. So looking forward to see you all in our all next lectures of this subject of manufacturing processes. Up to then, thank you.